the energy that you're coming in with, the Four of Cups. Now, you know, looking at that with the Two of Wands, it's like you're needing to take those first steps here. When you look at the Four of Cups, this is like boredom, being bored with life, being in that emotional stasis and not seeing what's being offered to you. It's one of those cards where, you know, you can either look at what's being offered and say, I don't need that, or you're just not seeing it because you're too focused on what you already have. But, you know, clearly with the Two of Wands, it's like you need to open your eyes to the possibility of something new coming in because technically in this card, what's being offered is the Ace of Cups. But it's like, is that what you really want right now? Is it what you really need? You know, and this also talks about needing to take some time to do some inward reflection and understanding why you're feeling the way you are. And what is crossing you is the Six of Cups. So now I worry here that What's happening is that you're stuck in thoughts of the past. And the problem is, is that when we do that, we bring that into the present moment. And if they're not, if they're not peaceful memories, those things can start to manifest in our lives. Because again, you know, looking at the past, bringing it into the present moment, there's a focus here on past feelings. And, you know, it's blocking you from accepting the new opportunity here. You know, and in this deck, it also talks about with the Six of Cups that this is also random acts of kindness as well. But, you know, for me, I automatically think that you need to restore harmony back into your life. If you're going to reflect on the past, it needs to be joyful memories. You don't want to be stuck in the past either. Your conscious mind is focused on the Page of Pentacles. And again, new opportunities here. And seeing the page, it's like new opportunities for work, for financial gain, success, and security in your life. But you have to be willing to see opportunities that are coming through. I just feel like, you know, looking at these two, it's like you're wanting to start taking action here, but there's too much focus on what's already gone and your conscious mind is like well but we're wanting this but really you're focused on things that have been happening previously which makes me curious as to what you know the recent past is oh wow wow cancer shit the subconscious mind obviously knows better. <clears throat> Seeing death as what your subconscious mind is focused on is saying that the old needs to be done with. You need to let go of what is gone and stop focusing on it. This is transformation. Out with the old, in with the new. My goodness. <coughs> you guys have to forgive me. My children are getting me sick. <laughs> but seeing death there in the subconscious mind, you don't have a choice. This is something that's going to have to happen for you. You're going to go through that really deep transformation and you're going to create yourself anew. But where you start out at is like too focused on the past. Just, just too much focus on memories that are gone, memories of things that are gone. And death is saying, no, we need to open up to the new opportunities that may be being presented to us here. And again, with the two of wands, it's like, you're wanting to do this, but something's got to change on obviously a subconscious level. Now the recent past judgment, my goodness, you know, and to me, it's almost like, are, are you really truly following the path of, you know, what your soul wants you to do? You know, I, I get this feeling that you're you're like just kind of going along with the everyday mundane stuff. And judgment is saying, you know, you need to be okay with the past. You have to be okay with the past so you can move forward. And this card also speaks about following your own song, you know, and be careful about the judgment that you pass on yourself. 
But again, being okay with the past. You cannot move forward there if you're not okay with the past. And something here is saying that you're not. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. But again, with the Two of Wands, it's like, yeah, you know, you're ready. You're ready with the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Judgment is saying it's time to be okay now. There's a new start here for you. And death, definitely, definitely, that's showing up in the subconscious. Wow, wow. You're going to go through that really deep transformation. And again, when you come out of this, you're going to be like the phoenix rising from the ashes where you may be feeling this boredom and this like emotional stasis on past memories you're something's going to change and it's going to change on a really deep level for you and that's good though because it'll open you up to the new things that are coming through oh your next move the eight of swords you know, I mean, look at it. It's like this clear message here that, you know, you need to get up. You've got to get up. You can't allow yourself to be stuck in these past memories because if you stay stuck in that, you're never going to be able to follow the new opportunities that come through to you. The Eight of Swords, again, is fear. It's fear of the unknown. And I, you know, I always say the same thing when I see this card immediately. I think, you know, I would rather be dealing with new pain than continuously dealing with the same shit over and over again. You already know it's here. So why are you binding yourself to it? You know, don't ever fear your path. Don't ever fear your path. Y you have to get up here. You need to take the blindfold off and walk your path instead of being stuck in the past. And again, it's like with judgment sitting there, you know, needing to be okay with the past so that you can move forward. My goodness. <laughs> the way that you are projecting yourself and the way that other people view you. The Knight of Cups. The messenger of love and romance. Right? Following your heart. I love it. I, I think that that's perfect for cancer. And to me, the two speak to like a renewal here where when you come out of this death, you're like following your heart rather than being stuck in the past. I love it. I love seeing that. And, and it speaks volumes to your romantic nature as well. And for you to be projecting that is great. You know, you don't want to get too wrapped up in your fantasies, but that is a much better place to be than here. You know, and in your environment, the three of pentacles. And again, it goes back to the page of pentacles. You know, you have an opportunity here and what you're doing is good. You're doing the right thing and you're being recognized for what you're doing. It's just starting out. But again, you know, you're doing the right thing and it's new. It's new and it's going to bring security into your life. This could also speak to you know, new jobs, new financial gain. I love it. I love seeing that in your environment, especially with what's going on right here. But I feel like you're quick. You're quick to go through the death cycle and the subconscious mind is like kicking your ass going, okay, we need to be done with this now so that we can focus on the new opportunities that we have. And you do it. You do it, which is perfect. And you change who you are. And you start to follow your heart, your hopes and your fears. And the hangman, you know, as a fear, this is about being stuck. It's like, because the hangman is about being in a limbo and needing to see things in a different perspective. But, you know, it's also like being at a standstill. You know, the whole point of the hangman is to set your ego aside to see things in a different light and through that you and you attain enlightenment. So clearly here you need to see something differently, but you can't, you know, again, I mean, wow, you cannot stay stuck, you know, and I almost feel like your fear here is that you're just going to go right back to this feeling of the eight of swords and fear in your path. But that being in your hopes and your fears is telling me that you're going to take that reflective moment and clear this junk up here. You know, again, needing to be okay with the past, not being so bored with life. 
restoring harmony back into your life, going through the death cycle. Man, oh man. And again, the two of wands manifesting the things that you want, starting to take those steps to do that. You know, I don't really see the hangman too much of a fear for you because I really think that you're going to jump out of it because with this being in your environment and what your conscious mind is focused on, I really feel like out of the death cycle, things will start to change. And there's not, to me, it just doesn't seem like a possibility that you'll just go right back to this. You know, I feel like you're, you're really going to take a reflective moment here to see your fears differently so that you can move forward with the new things that you're doing here. Because again, with the page of pentacles, it's putting in hard work, but what you're doing is good. It's the right thing. You're doing the right thing here and you're being recognized for it. I love it. And I, I, I can't help it. I think this is perfect for cancer for, for you to be projecting yourself out this way is beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, some people may look at you like, oh, he's just going off on his fancies again. Right. But truly you're just following your heart. The outcome, the knight of swords. <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing that as the outcome because to me, this is saying that you're like, yep, I'm gone. I'm not going to stay stuck in these same patterns anymore. It's like you go from no action to all of a sudden, boom, I'm gone. <laughs> I love it because to me, it's saying that you're going to be active in this situation. You're going to be courageous and brave. You're not concerned with the obstacles that are in your path and, and look at it. I mean, you know, the two are perfect for you to have these two representing you is fantastic. I mean, you know, the Knight of Cups for sure, but then to come out with the Knight of Swords, perfect. It's perfect. All right. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that Knight of Swords and see what's going on. The High Priestess. Wow. <laughs> wow. I love it. I love it. That is perfect. And this to me, and with the page of pentacles, when you look at the description in the booklet for this deck, it talks about, you know, you're not just going to have the answers given to you. You're going to have to do some work here. Yep. Yep. You already know that, you know, this is about you tapping into your psychic and intuitive nature. And having those unknown answers made known to you. I mean, look at her. You know, she's got the tarot deck and the crystal ball and everything, right? This is where all the possibilities lie too, you know? So, and again, with the twos, the twos, it's perfect. It's perfect. I love it because to me, you know, even though you're charging forward here, you're doing it from a much different perspective. It's like you went through that death cycle. Oh my goodness. You went through that death cycle and you came out so much wiser than what you were before. I love these two together. I think it's perfect for you guys. And I love where you're coming out with this. Being the Knight of Swords, absolutely. But still having that projection of the Knight of Cups and following your heart being okay with the past, getting out of that feeling of being bored with life. Balance talks about if you're running after something, you may chase it away. There needs to be balance between your wants and your needs and your desires. You can't be chasing after something that isn't worthy of you. And I like balance because when you look at that with supernatural, it's saying that there needs to be a balance between the mundane every day and your spiritual awakening that you are wanting to go through here. I love it. I love it. But, you know, balance I don't see as a horrible thing. I just see it as, you know, you really need to look at what your desires are. You know, and with the Knight of Cups too, yeah. <clears throat> this is about not being deceived by your own desires, but I really feel like there needs to be a balance between the everyday and the intuitive nature that you're tapping into right now. And, you know, remember here, don't chase illusions and, you know, watch out for compulsive behaviors and self-neglect. And, you know, I... I 
that's not something that you want to be tapping into because again your subconscious mind says oh hell no we're doing something way different way different and i love seeing this for cancer this is beautiful all right cancer so i like what's happening here where you are projecting yourself as the knight of cups but really what you pull out with is the knight of swords and one of the big things with the Knight of Cups, too, is about actions, actions rather than words. And here is the action. I think it's perfect. But what you pulled for the clarifier and what is going on in your subconscious mind and then what you pulled with Lay Vampire. Oh, yeah. To me, this is spiritual awakening. And I love it. I love it. And I think it's perfect for you guys. And it's about time. But the problem is. In the beginning of the month, what I feel like is you're going to be looking at your life and going there, eh, right? It's just the same thing over and over again, waiting for something new to happen here. And you're stuck with thoughts from the past. But then with judgment coming through, it's saying that you need to be okay with your past so that you can move forward. You got to get up. You have to get up. You have to get unstuck from this situation so that you can start to experience this spiritual awakening through the death cycle. Now, with the hangman being in your hopes and your fears, I don't feel like this is you going back to the same patterns. But, you know, again, with balance showing up, it's like needing to have that balance between your everyday life and the spiritual awakening you're going to be going through. And again, with the high priestess and the page of pentacles, you have to work for these answers, but they will come to you. And you're tapping into that psychic nature. I love it. I love the way that these cards are tying in together. And with the two of wands being the overall energy here, it's taking the first steps to manifest the things that you truly want to see in your life, rather than being stuck with this feeling of being bored and being in an emotional stasis. I like what's happening here. I think you have some really different things happening for you here. This is something new for cancer and I love seeing it. Just, I can't get over it. Just the fact that you pulled these three is so perfect. I love it. I love the idea that you guys are tapping into that because again, this is something I preach all the time. We are all connected to the same source. We all have the same abilities. You have every right to tap into that. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. And again, you're doing the right thing and you're going to be recognized for it. So I love this reading, Cancer. Just do not allow yourself to feel like you're stuck in the same mundane things over and over and over again. Open up to the possibility through that death cycle to create yourself anew and to start tapping into that intuitive nature. 